So my name is Emily Gillespie and my degree was an honors double major in English and gender equality and social justice. So what does it mean to me to have graduated from Nipissing? It means that I went to a smaller university that I'm really proud of. This became part of my roots. It means I had opportunities in my career that I don't think I would have had if I had gone to a larger school. So for instance, after my second year, I was selected to be a research assistant. A professor reached out to me during the summer and that really started my research and activist career. And I don't think looking back, I would have had those networking opportunities and that personal touch if I wasn't at Nipissing. And it also means that I have, I'm in the city now in Toronto, but I have a huge soft spot for Northern Ontario. And that is really part of my story of growing up. My greatest achievement in life is a really hard question. And I don't have one clear achievement, but I would say my ability to adapt and be flexible and kind of make the, continually make the best with the cards I have. After going to Nipissing, I continued and got a master's degree at York University. So that's a big achievement for me. I have a published fiction novel. Um, that I had time to work on as I navigated the, the gig economy um, and, and just being flexible. Like right now I'm working across Canada during COVID. Like for instance, I have jobs in Vancouver, I have work in Manitoba and just kind of taking what I have and adapting would definitely be my greatest achievement. Okay, so my biggest role models, this is going in two different directions, but in terms of leadership and social justice, my dad, my late father was a huge role model for me. He worked at a legal aid clinic and did a lot of poverty law fighting, you know, uh, corrupt landlords and really kind of installed those principles of social justice in me from a young age. And that led to my interest in social justice in high school. And that led to me studying social justice in my undergrad and continuing that in grad school and in my research work. And then in terms of my artistic career, one of my role models, her name is Lisa Anita Wagner, and she has shown me to be flexible, to adapt, to have these amazing artistic business skills, um, how multidisciplinary art is. And she has a career that spans all over the world and really anybody can be her collaborator. So I find it so amazing that my biggest artistic collaborator and inspiration is someone who isn't even an author, but they're a performance artist, but they've really shaped my career. Okay, so what is my motto or advice I live by? I'm a disabled person and also a perfectionist, and I really had to learn this lesson the hard way, but things don't have to be perfect. So every day and every project is about giving it your best shot, and that might look different depending on where you're at, depending on the resources you have. So just going for it, but acknowledging that your best might be different every day, but still, still giving your best. And then I also really encourage people to lean into who you are and your identity. Like if you're, you know, marginalized, if you're disabled, if you're struggling, like you can kind of water down who you are. But I really encourage, and this is lessons to myself too, but you to lean into who you are because you're not doing any of the world any favors kind of holding back. So really being authentic and raw and showing up as yourself every day is, is a huge, huge piece of life. A favorite Nipissing memory? That's a hard question. I have, have so many. I spent three years living in residence and those are some of my best years in my life. Um, the socializing in residence, getting to know people in residence at that small community. You know, I was telling someone the other day, I still miss, you know, having potlucks and parties and meeting up with having your neighbor next door. I really love the small classes at Nipissing. Like I said earlier, I got the chance to be someone's research assistant um, because of those small classes. I was someone who showed up to, to every class and really got to participate in a meaningful way. Um, I also, I picked, initially I picked Nipissing because I, I was overwhelmed and didn't want to go to a big university and I wanted like the smaller um, primary like, teaching school but I saw a picture of the gorgeous campus and I spent a lot of time out in nature hiking and at the lake um, so like the time spent outdoors and relaxing um, on the beautiful property and I always remember um, coming back on the Northlander bus from Thanksgiving and seeing the beautiful um, fall leaves 
I would say to really get involved. Here's the time to follow your passions, to join a club, to um, try out leadership skills, to get to know people. I would also say something that's kind of controversial and that grades aren't everything. So for instance, I continued to do a master's degree and the grades mattered there, but in working and I've had a national and international career and nobody ever asked me for my transcript. My connections mattered, my job experience mattered, um, my personality mattered, but I thought the grades were, were everything at one point, but really like allowing yourself those opportunities to develop in other areas and still put your efforts into, into school, but um, your exact grade point average, I don't think is, is what, what's gonna make or break like your career or your journey. Um, so give yourself you know, some flexibility and room to expand in other areas. I would also say get to know your professors. Like they have their office hours, they're sitting there, they love their research. Go chat with them, get to know their research, go Google them, look at their CV, um, ask them questions about what they're doing if you're interested in their research because they would love to tell you about it. And then also take a class for fun, especially if you're you know, on a certain career path. I think it's great to kind of get outside of your bubble and take something that, that you're interested in, that you're curious about. And you never know, that might end up becoming part of your career, especially as, as the world is so flexible. You never know which way your career path or journey is gonna go. So here's the chance to kind of get outside your box.